this is uh, it, it's not really a derailment it's not really a sidetrack this is something that was I was working on before <laughs> the CNC lathe uh, these are parts for the new design on the truck brake kit okay um, changing things up a little bit I want to do a prototype with plug welding the pro welder I had doing the brackets at one point suggested changing the the design slightly to do it with plug weld to make it a whole lot easier so I never got around to doing it uh, when I was using him he's now moved to Texas so uh, uh, with all the research I did and everything like that three quarters of an inch from everything I could tell turned out to be the 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 best size um, even in bigger thicker plates and stuff like that three quarters of an inch seemed to be uh, the better so uh, professional welders feel free to uh, chime in there um, the plug weld I should be able to just come down in there and just you know just weld that and fill it right in instead of having to do a perimeter weld because I can't get up underneath very easily you know that tab if you've seen any of the other uh, welding videos on the brakes and that stuff I can't get underneath and all the way around certainly can't do it in one pass uh, so it's just a uh, it's a real tedious way to to fix them if I have to do perimeter welding so I'm gonna give this a try so I don't want to have to send in an order and to the laser cutter in a large enough quantity to make it cheap enough and then find out that something's not right something something won't work uh, I did that with the upper control arms for the ball joint modification I have to have those I have to change those and, and reorder them uh, so anyway while I'm I need the CNC machine up so I can make the spacers and the bearing adapters and stuff. I need to make one of these, at least one, if not a pair, um, for proof of concept that everything's right and stuff like that. And uh, that's what I'm going to start working on now. Hopefully it won't take too awfully long. So I've, I've taken the CAD work and I've printed some uh, two-dimensional drawings here to so it's laid out so I could use like bar stock or flat plate um, and I put the dimensions on so I can stick it in the mill and drill it same here I can do all the holes and everything like that in the mill so that's what we're gonna do so this is roughly three and three eighths yeah so three and a half three and a half we need seven inches of metal here I have to find out where my silver one went again. So I'm going to cut that off. We're going to whittle it a little bit just to uh, get it down. Now I really only need the the one edge so that I can clamp it down here. I'll probably set the back corner here as uh, the zero reference and that stuff so I can drill the holes. So that way when I do another set, if I do another set manually, I can go back in and do the same reference point. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I, you know, I mean, this is onesie twosie. But uh, just to help it clamp, I'm going to go ahead and take a skim cut off that side too. And now that I have the... Uh, coordinates marked out you know a lot of times I drill uh, pilot holes I think I'm just going to try it directly from the centering the spot drill to the half inch well that was definitely a little nicer than uh, the last time I drilled it with a pilot hole same uh, same drill Very nice. 
guys. I might stop drilling pilot holes. <laughs> well, when I measured off the inch and a half there, I should have probably come over to the other end, you know, because it was in there like this when I drilled it. Uh, I started here and came this way. I probably should have come over here and came in the 5.62 and then to here, because what I've ended up doing is there was a, I put exactly an inch and a half here. Well, I don't even have enough width there left for a bandsaw cut. So there's going to be a little flat spot there. It's prototyping. I don't really need that to be pretty, you know. But here's the rub, you know. If it came out pretty enough, I'd make another one to match, and then you know that would be one set down. Uh, so, anywho, uh, let's get to cutting them out. Well, this is why you get the DROs. After I deburred a little bit, there's a three-quarter inch going through those two holes. Okay, and even though the outer perimeters aren't the same, the edges on here match. The the ends don't match very well, you know. But there's the there's the half inch drill bit that drilled the holes going right through there. So gotta gotta love that. And you can do it with the dials, but uh, more power to you. I can't. So so those two are precise. I'm I'm real pleased with exactly how they came out. Uh, as far as the holes go, the outside is really uh, almost superfluous except for it needing to do some clearancing on the inside and stuff like that. So I'll cut the shape out and um, we'll go from there. Then we'll see if we can't do the big bracket. We'll see how well the new blade uh, does this. Now, with CNC plasma, you know, uh, I could cut this out accurately enough. Uh, and in you know, one of these days when I get a CNC mill, I'll just whittle these things, you know, out of steel or aluminum for, for the testing and stuff like that. You know, might not make sense to uh, produce them that way, you know, because uh, of speed and cost and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, for prototyping, certainly. Gonna do a little cleanup grind in there. Just to get the mill scale off basically. I could I may just sandblast it, we'll see. <laughs> 